Okay, for this project, the first thing you're going to need to have is a piece of paper, a pencil, and some tape to make a template. After that, you'll need some sort of cutting device like a scroll saw or a jigsaw, which I'll be using a jigsaw and I'll show you that later. You'll also need a piece of plywood or thin sort of wood. This is a quarter inch plywood scrap that I have, so I'll use that. After cutting out the design, we will need some sort of sanding device. Either you can do regular old sandpaper, or you could do something like this, which is a Black & Decker mouse that has, you know, the sandpaper attached to it. So I'm going to try using this, and then after the sanding is done, we will need some sort of paint, and of course, a paintbrush. Okay, the first thing we need to do is draw out a design on our paper that we like. You can either draw it yourself or you can enlarge some sort of clip art or something off the internet. I decided to go with this dog silhouette. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I'm not the best at drawing, but I think this will suffice. So the next thing we do, once we have our shape drawn out, we're going to flip it, the design over so that we have the back side of the paper facing up. And what we're going to do is take our pencil and go over, scribble over the, all the lines with our pencil so that the whole outline is covered in scribbles. This will help transfer our design onto our plywood. So then once it's all outlined, we'll flip it back over and place it on our plywood where we want it to go like this make sure you have it where you want it and then you're simply going to start tracing the line what I'm going to do is quick put a piece of tape a little bit like painter's tape at the very top just to hold it in place for now this and then we're just going to follow our line and start tracing onto the wood underneath. And then you can check it every now and then, see if you can see that or not. You can see the line right here, and that will be our cutting line. So you're just going to follow this all the way around the design until you have the whole design transferred onto the wood. Alright, once the whole design is traced, you want to make sure that it's all easily, that you make sure you get all the spots. I'm going to go over a couple spots over here. Just so it's nice and dark so you can see it. Okay, once the design is all, tra you've traced all the lines, you can take off your design and make sure that your lines are nice and dark. I like to go over them a little bit. Just so when I'm going about cutting, there's no question about where to go. So if there's any spots where it's not real dark, just go over it a little bit. 
and then we are ready to move on to the cutting. Okay, now we're ready to do start the um, cutting part of the process, and this is my scroll saw. It has, it looks like this, and it has a blade here, and then this guard here, which the wood sits underneath, and it's obviously adjustable, and then the blade goes up and down, and it's easy to make curves on a cut. So I am going to get it situated, and then I'll show you how I cut out the design. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, because the design is so much, the board is so much bigger than the design, I'm going to go ahead and cut out along, like maybe a couple inches away from the design, just so it's not so big and bulky when I'm trying to cut it. So, let's see, I'm going to turn it on. Okay, now that I have the board cut down a little closer to my design, I'm going to take it to the saw and start cutting it out. Okay, so now I have my dog shape all cut out. I am still learning how to use the scroll saw. This is like my second project using it. So it's not the best job ever, but you know what? I think it works pretty good. And one thing I forgot to mention when I made the design is I added this little bit at the end of each foot, and that will be used to attach a stand at the very end so that my dog will stand up when I'm finished. So you might, I still, I just added like an inch there. So, so anyways, I will take my sander and I will go along all these edges, smooth them out and get it ready for painting. And I will be using probably a combination of this black and decker and then a hand, just a little piece of um, sandpaper. So the sanding is all done, the dog is all nice and smooth, there's no splinters sticking up and it's ready for painting. Except for, before I start that step, I'm going to make the stand that will go on the bottom because I also want to paint that. So I'll show you how I make that in just a moment. Okay, for the stand, I have cut these three by one inch um, pieces of scrap wood. I have two pieces of it. And these will go across the bottom like so. And then I'll screw into them to attach the dog to the stand. And then I also have this other piece of wood, which will sit on top of it like this and make the dog stand up. To attach the base, I have started with pre-drilling a single hole through all the layers the top layer through the um, dog layer and then into the bottom 
and then I'm using a, I don't know what size is this, one and a, one and five eighths screw, duck screw like this, and I'll just screw it in through all three layers, and that should hold it. And as you can see on the other side, I have already done it. And then I just countersunk it just a little bit so I can make it look better. Alright, so next we need to attach this piece to the base of here. So to do that, I am going to pre-mark some drill holes and then we will attach it the same way. Okay, so I attached three screws from the bottom up into this wood here to hold the two pieces together. We got one here, one here, and one here. And then it stands up all by itself. How cute is that? Haha. <laughs> Alright, so now that the construction part is done, I'll clean up my mess and then I'll get to the painting. All right, now that I have the dog finished and put on its base, it is now time for paint. I'm going to be using this paint. I don't even know where I have got this from. I don't even, maybe Fleet Farm, I'm not sure. Yep, Fleet Farm. And it is a black, a grayish black kind of charcoal color. I'll just need that and a paintbrush. I'm not going to... Um, prime it because I want to distress it because I think I'm going to want some of this raw wood color showing also. So you know me, I have to distress everything. So I'll let you see what it looks like when I'm done. So I have finished painting the dog, as you can see here. I gave it a coat of black paint and then I just started distressing it the edges with um, sandpaper and then I realized I liked the way the whole thing looked distressed so I went to town distressing it all but I think it turned out really really cute and I cannot wait to put it up on top of my hutch <laughs> 